and welcome to my haunted castle. I am your host, Count Wittelsbach, and this is I Gotcha! Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I Gotcha proudly presents a grindhouse-style horror with several lessons for those who pay attention. Yes, the concept is similar to the very first episode of I Gotcha, but while Summer Camp from Hell was a spoof of the Friday the 13th franchise, this movie is a spoof of the first great grindhouse horror, the one that really started the genre. And no, I don't mean Halloween, I mean Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Our story isn't set in Texas, but the real-life killer who inspired Leatherface, Norman Bates, and Buffalo Bill was really from Wisconsin anyway. So sit back and relax as we present... Alabama Chainsaw Massacre! <laughs> No, Granny, you don't have to fix any special food. Not everyone from California is a vegan. Granny, he just eats normal food. He doesn't need avocados. Mike's going to take him fishing. If they catch anything, we can eat that. Granny, you've been talking my ear off for 300 miles. I don't want to wear out my welcome before I even get there. Let me let you go so I can talk to my friends. Your granny sure does love to talk. <laughs> well, you know, she's been all alone since our mama died. The only company she has is the church folks and the ducks. Blaine, where's your cell phone charger? It's not there? Oh, I used the phone charger last night. I think I left it plugged up in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, wow, this is hilarious. <laughs> Why, what's funny? Don't you get it? We're going to stay in a cabin in the woods, and the phone is going to be dead. It's like the setup for a hundred horror movies. At least we don't have to stop at some creepy old gas station and ask for directions. Um, yes we do. What? Why? Blaine, I ain't been to my granny's house in like a hundred years. Everything has changed. I was counting on the GPS to get us there. Oh no, I got this. We are not stopping at some creepy gas station and talking to some sawtoothed hillbilly. Just pull over somewhere safe and I'll get my phone out of my purse. I charged it last night and it's got GPS. And you can charge your phone when we get to your granny's house. We're not going to be in no Hills Have Eyes movie. You know, we're still going to have to stop at a gas station at some point to get gas and use the bathroom. That's okay, just don't talk to anyone. Why, are you really afraid of the people who live in the country? I don't care where they're from. I don't talk to crackheads in Birmingham either. I gotta be careful. Well, most people aren't out to hurt you. If you give people a chance, you might make more friends. I got you guys. You know, Bonnie and I spent a lot of time in Coffee County when we were kids. I told you, it's not about where you're from. Hey guys, uh, I'll pull over at this Bucky's. Uh, you can dig your phone out of the back and, uh, we'll, and we'll get some gas and grab some snacks. Are they going to be alright? Sure, they're just real different from each other. And they got stuff to figure out, but they'll handle it just like us. Okay. Well, I'm going to pump the gas. Uh, you go inside and get us some snacks. You want low-salt baked lays and a caffeine-free diet Pepsi? <laughs> you know me. Yeah, I lied when I told Granny that you eat normal food. <laughs> I wanted to cry when you said I didn't need any avocados. staring at me. You're real pretty. I like to look at pretty girls. I 
Ma'am, I know you're traumatized and I understand, but Jack, he don't mean no harm. He's just dumb as a box of rocks. We've told him about creeping on girls, but he, he didn't mean to threaten you with his chainsaw. He just brought it here to put gas in it. Look, if you go on and take your vacation, if you still want to, you can press charges when you come back through on your way home. But I hope you'll just let it go. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Now, where did you say you'll be just in case I need to contact you? I'll be at my granny's house by Catfish Lake. Let me give you my number. Catfish Lake? Is that Miss Wayfield's house? Yeah, she's my granny. You done gone too far this time, Jack. You scared that poor girl out of ten years of her life. You know you scare people, and I've told you about creeping on girls. Did you tell this one you wanted to take her home with you? Did you? I didn't mean nothing by it. I know, but you can't say that. Especially since you're holding a chainsaw. Now that girl's going to have nightmares about you cutting her up with that chainsaw. Am I going to go to jail this time? <sighs> Right now, I'm just going to write a report and take you home to your mama. But when that girl's done with her vacation, if she wants to press charges, I'll have to arrest you. You better just hope she don't come back. If she wants to press charges, I'll have to arrest you. Arrest you. I'll have to arrest you. If she wants to press charges, I'll have to arrest you. You better just hope she don't come back. Better just hope she don't come back. You better just hope she don't come back. Catfish Lake. Is that Miss Wayfield's house? <whistles> what happened? Do you get lost? Oh, Granny, you wouldn't believe it. Some crazy guy scared me with a chainsaw at Bucky's. We had to call the sheriff. Was it Mike Sawyer, that dang idiot? Yeah, you know him? Everybody knows him. Did he say he wanted to take you home with him? That boy ain't right. He knows better. He's been told over and over again. If you called the sheriff on him, maybe this time they'll do something about him. Does he always carry a chainsaw around? Just since he started clearing his mama's land, says he's going to build his own house, but nobody believes he'll ever finish it. He ain't got no sense at all. You two should come down here more often. You know, this is the first time you've been here since you were in high school. You ain't got a lot of summer vacations left. We'll still get vacations when we get jobs, Granny. Well, you two must be Blaine and Shauna, the ones that are trying to steal my grandkids away. Look, everyone, I caught a big fish. Hey, Granny, who are these folks? This is Vicky and Albert from the church. They came over to introduce their new grandson. This is their son, Steve, and his wife, Lisa. These are my grandkids, Mike and Bonnie. Pleased to meet you. Are you staying for dinner? Can't. We're going to her mama's house for dinner. Let's get a look at the baby. He sure is a cute little fella. What's his name? No one will ever know it was me. Surprise, losers! It's time for an Alabama Chainsaw Massacre! Oh my god! Come on, who's first? Ah! Lisa, get down!
have a gun? That guy had a pumpkin on his head. Yeah, that guy was a moron who brought a chainsaw to a gunfight. Why don't you have a gun? It's okay. He's just from California. Don't worry. I'll keep him safe. <laughs>